Have you ever felt really weird, as when you suddenly feel a strange hum no one else hears, or when you're sure you've been in this exact moment before? We've sent people to the moon. We've mapped the human genome. But somehow, science still can't explain why we yawn, or how animals migrate with GPS-like precision, or why sugar pills sometimes heal real pain. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. In this video, we're going to explore how your own brain might be hiding some of the answers. Let's explore the five things science still can't explain, and why they matter more than we think. Number one, déjà vu. Have you ever walked into a room, looked around, and thought, wait, I've been here before? Even though deep down, you know you haven't. That weird, almost eerie feeling is called déjà vu, which literally means already seen in French. And it's something that around 60 to 80% of people have experienced at least once in their lives. But even though it's so common, science still doesn't fully understand why it happens. One popular theory is that it's a kind of glitch in your brain's memory system. Basically, your brain accidentally files a brand new experience into your already happened folder. Some researchers believe it might be your brain processing the same information through two different pathways, but one gets slightly delayed. That tiny delay makes the second experience feel familiar, even though it just happened milliseconds ago. So your brain is sinking and it hiccups. Imagine you're sitting in a cafe in a city you've never been to. You glance at the barista, the way the light hits the floor, the music playing in the background, and suddenly, boom, you feel like you've lived this exact moment before. But here's the thing, you haven't, at least not in the physical world. It might be your brain recognizing patterns. Maybe the smell of the coffee reminds you of your childhood home, or the music matches a memory you can't quite place. But instead of fully retrieving that memory, your brain just gives you this weird blend of familiarity without context. We usually think of our memory as something stable, something we can trust, but deja vu reminds us that our brain is always making guesses, trying to piece together what's happening right now using memories from the past. And sometimes those guesses get scrambled. Number two, why we yawn. Okay, if you're watching this right now, you've probably yawned at least once already. And if you haven't, you probably will in the next few seconds. Because yawning is contagious. And that's just the start of the mystery. For something we all do every single day, sometimes multiple times an hour, science still can't agree on why we yawn. We've figured out how to clone animals, build brain-computer interfaces, send robots to Mars, but yawning? Still up for debate. There are a few leading theories that might interest you. One idea is that yawning helps cool down the brain. When we're tired, stressed, or overheated, a yawn might bring in a rush of cool air to regulate our brain's temperature, kind of like opening a window in a stuffy room. Another theory is about oxygen levels. Back in the day, people believed we yawn because our brain isn't getting enough oxygen, and yawning helps us take in more air. But modern studies suggest that the explanation doesn't fully hold up. People still yawn, even when their oxygen levels are just fine. Things do not stop there. Some researchers believe yawning has more to do with social bonding than biology. <laughs> Easy to understand, you see someone yawn, and you do it too. Even reading the word yawn can trigger a yawn. There's a theory that this automatic response helps synchronize group behavior. In early human tribes, one person yawning might signal that it's time to rest, so the whole group gets on the same rhythm. Even more fascinating, studies show we're more likely to catch a yawn from someone we're emotionally close to, like a friend or family member, than from a stranger. So maybe yawning is a quiet empathy from a very long time ago. But the truth is, there's no single proven explanation for yawning. Scientists have tried everything. They've scanned brains, tracked temperatures, even tried to make rats yawn on command. But the results are inconclusive. And that's what makes yawning so interesting. It's so normal that we stopped questioning it. But once you do, you realize just how mysterious this everyday habit really is. Number three, the hum. Sometimes, especially in the midnight, while everything is quiet than ever, you suddenly hear a deep, low hum, like a truck engine idling far away. You try to ignore it, but it's there, and you realize you're the only one who hears it. That's the hum, a mysterious low-frequency sound that some people around the world claim to hear, but that science still can't fully explain. Reports of the hum have come from all over Taos, New Mexico, 
Bristol, England, Windsor, Canada, even small towns in Australia and India, it's usually described as a droning, vibrating noise, between 30 and 40 hertz, just low enough to be creepy, and just loud enough to keep people awake at night. But no one can find the source. Some scientists think the hum might be caused by industrial equipment, electromagnetic waves, or even ocean activity. Others suggest it's a form of infrasound, frequencies so low they're hard to detect with the human ear, but still felt by the body. But not everyone hears it. Two people in the same room, one hears the hum, the other hears silence. So researchers have started asking, could this be something happening inside the brain instead of outside? One idea is that it's a kind of auditory hallucination, a misfiring in the brain's hearing system, possibly triggered by stress, anxiety, or sensory overload. Almost like tinnitus, but lower and stranger. Number four, animal migration GPS. Most of us have gotten lost at least once, even with Google Maps in our hand. But birds, turtles, whales travel thousands of miles across oceans and continents, without phones, without maps, and still arrive at the exact beach, lake, or forest they were born in, sometimes years later. That's one of the biggest mysteries in biology. How do animals know where to go? And how freaking they get there? Scientists have uncovered some clues, but nothing that fully explains this insane level of precision. Some animals seem to follow the position of the sun during the day. Others use stars at night. Some species pick up on scent trails, ocean currents, or even low frequency sounds humans can't detect. And there's growing evidence that many animals can actually sense Earth's magnetic field, almost like they have a built-in compass. Sounds like science fiction, right? But pigeons, sea turtles, and salmon all show signs of magnetoreception, the ability to detect the magnetic field and use it to navigate. But the weird part is that we still don't know how their brains actually do it. Let's talk about sea turtles for a second. These little creatures hatch on a beach, shuffle into the ocean, and disappear for up to 20 years. Then, without GPS, without parents, without ever seeing a map, they return to that exact same beach to lay their eggs. Scientists believe they imprint on the magnetic signature of that beach as babies, kind of like memorizing the scent of home. But how they store that memory for two decades still blows our minds. We know the outcome. These animals find their way with jaw-dropping accuracy, but we don't fully understand what their brain is doing. There's no single GPS center in the brain. Instead, it seems like animals use a mix of visual cues, magnetic fields, infrasound, and internal clocks, a complex combo that humans still can't replicate. Some researchers are even looking into whether animals have something like a quantum sensor inside them, but that's still deep in the maybe zone. This mystery reminds us of two things. Nature is still way ahead of us in some areas. There's so much about the brain, not just ours, but every living creature's that we still don't understand. Number five, the placebo effect. We've all had those moments where we took something, maybe a vitamin, a supplement, even a random herbal tea, and then suddenly felt better. But what if it wasn't the thing itself that helped you? What if it were just your belief that it would? That's the placebo effect a phenomenon where something fake can still produce real results. When we believe we're being treated, whether it's a real drug or just a sugar pill, our brain gets the memo. It starts releasing endorphins, our body's natural painkillers, our dopamine levels go up, stress hormones like cortisol drop. Our brain says, okay, we're in healing mode now, and it starts to make that belief come true. It's like the brain becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy machine. We also have a video just about the placebo effect. Click here to watch. So today, we've explored the top five things that still hold mysteries science hasn't cracked. Have you ever met any of these before? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stick around. We've got more to uncover. See you in the next video.